Okay, there, there we go. I wish OBS would remember that. Did you see that? I, okay, in case you missed it, I, was, I wasn't tall, or you couldn't hear me. I did not move the first lap. I, I didn't realize my Twitch wasn't set up properly. So I had to, I just sat there on the race course while trying to quickly sync up OBS to Twitch. So I didn't go anywhere. It was somehow one first place in that? How is that possible? How is that possible? That is absurd. That is just how crazy the items can be in Mario Kart. I should just sit there for the first lap more often. Who knew that's the way it played? That is crazy. That should not have been possible. That is stupid. <laughs> that was my first race song, Joe. I mean, that might have been the very first race. It was, I, I said, hi, Bubba Joey and uh, Iggy earlier. And then I said, I was talking to Pikmin as I raced past them, seeing, uh, I saw them on, twi on Twitter earlier, so. I'm doing good, Fawn. So did anybody else see that? Did that? Did you guys see that absurd victory through no doing on my own? I did not deserve that. <laughs> I did not deserve to win that. Now I'm sure I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna get karma, if you will. For some reason, I was totally having the Mario Kart 8 Rainbow Road in mind. Oh god. Oh, these are pretty different. So, hope you're all having a good week. Uh, Chris is out this week, so I am filling in. As you can obviously tell by now. Oh my god. I should just. Okay, well, I'm in 12th. That's how you win, apparently, so. Maybe this is maybe it's better this way. I also have my TV set up too. So I wonder if I wonder if I'm better on the TV than I have my TV. I think it was real. Or how I need to get real <laughs> by playing off the TV. Definitely feels better, I'll say that than playing off my OBS uh window. Well, it's convenient, but I can't be chatting at all this way. Oh, that was weak! Is that you, Joey? Karma bit me for the last race. Bubba Joey. I think I play off the off the monitor. Did everyone have a good weekend? Anyone do anything cool? I saw or hot <laughs> as it might be. I saw uh, Quiet Place Day One. It was okay. It's decent. Not my favorite. Yes, yeah, so we actually got Sunshine Airport. Yeah, I swapped back my uh, my old school setup instead of the Yoshi one. I gave up on the meta. I'm going, with, going with what I know. Tired of the metal cart, metal Mario cart, metal. That's what I'm trying to go for. 
beat a thousand your door today, Oscar. Congrats. How do you like it? Yeah, that's what you get, Joey. For being the one to possibly hit me. Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> I forgot they walked. I'm around so seldom to actually see what happens. Oh, come on. Keep that I got over the gap, too. Why, why did lightning get that nerf where you don't fall and you get hit, but every other item still applies. I don't understand the logic of that. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to burn through the final three. Oh my god! Oh my god, Boo actually did something useful for once. Oh, thank you, Zan Man, for not hitting me. Even if you did it by accident. Oh, you like it a lot and loved it, just like some of the Game Explained review scores, huh? You're covering the, uh, the, all the positive of the spectrum, except for mind-blowing. Uh, DM4? Wait, what's DM4? Dragon Monster 4? <laughs> Yeah, it's a 4th of July week. That's right. Happy 4th of July week to you as well, Oscar, and everyone else. It's going to be a short week, shorter week here. We'll have some content planned for uh, for the weekend, but otherwise we'll have Thursday and Friday off. Uh, my day's going good. Demoros, how are you? Brando, I mean, another Nintendo Direct is possible in September. I'm not personally expecting it. We covered this bit in our Direct discussion, I believe. Um, or maybe it was on Pipeline. I can't quite, quite remember. Um, the only way I see a September Direct is if Nintendo's going to announce a Switch 2. I don't think they're going to announce a Switch 2 until next year. Because unless it turns out this year, they don't want to be talking about it. Here. Why are we? Oh no, we weren't. This is the reason. Look alike. <laughs> oh come on. We still had the best Rainbow Road being double dash, if only because it helped. Oh, I got that. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, that's not fair. I mean, it's totally fair for that. It's not fair for me. I want that satisfaction and branding into them. Oh, oh shoot, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, no! Ah! Why did I do that? I 
I had Pikmin again. I also, Pikmin, I am also glad you <laughs> renewed your NSO subscription this week. Good timing. How are you? You got the fifth nights? Or are you Joey? Oh no, you're in a different race, I think. Well, nicely done. That's definitely better than twelfth. I had a good first race, which is ironic because I did I started terribly in that one. Oh, this big one me four <clears throat> of course. I was just reading about it this morning, in fact. So I've only seen Actually, I guess I've only seen most of them. I saw the first one forever. Did I actually ever see the first one? No, actually, I don't know. I saw the second one. I didn't see the third. Second one ha is the one with the twin, right? Or the brother or whatever. Saw that one. Didn't see three. So I probably won't see four, to be honest. I'm not huge on Despicable Me. I didn't mind two. But I don't know. If it gets really good reviews or something, maybe I will. Oh, that's three. That's not three. Okay. I can't remember for sure if I, sure if I saw one or not. I do like the Despicable Me ride at Universal Studios. Or at least I did before they removed the 3D. Thanks to Marles. I actually did see that um, I did, for the update. I actually, yeah, I realized, I actually think, I think I may have realized shortly after the mistake there. What happened, so I, I had been following the whole thing, so I, I had seen that that comment would, had been taken out of context before. And I ended up making the same mistake, which is ironic. Um, but is there, everything, all you know, with Piro privating all of their tweets, it was difficult to um, double check with everything they had said. But I do remember that they also said something, as you were saying there, to the effect that to expect it to be light on first party directs. So still struck at the, at the kind of like, you know, the heart of the issue, even if it wasn't exact. Um, I think the point was, though, unless I'm fully misunderstanding, which I don't think I am, is that Piro had had underhyped the direct or had suggested it be lesser than it ended up being and uh so yes i, I wish i had been able to correct that for using the uh not quite the correct tweet i couldn't find the picture of the other tweets uh i don't think anybody or i couldn't find an archive of them unfortunately uh, but point is that it seems like Piro. <laughs> it seems like their leaking game may have come to an end as a result so but thanks for the correction Uh, Sylvie with a redeemed message. Thank you. Says, eh, I'll just highlight it. It'll be, will the Luigi Mansion 2 streams be normal? Caught me off guard seeing a, a VOD of it. Also, make sure you have rivals of either ready. Sorry. Make sure you have rivals of, yeah, oh, Ether ready for Wednesday, Andre. That's right. Oh my God. I won't have it ready for Wednesday. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> maybe next week. Hey, Ninstar Rose. Glad you're awake. Glad you made it. Dale Murph. Good seeing you here as well. Okay, Sylvie, give me one more week. I have to. This week's a short week, so that's that's why it complicates things. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to stream on Wednesday this week, so. I mean, that's possible, Demoros. I mean, but I think everyone had been expecting Mario Party. To a degree based on the codename leak, so that wasn't exactly a a super hard prediction. But I mean obviously Piro had sources, so I'm not questioning that. Or at least a method of finding out those titles. But I think it sounds like at this point it can do is shut that down. <laughs> the mod, mod, mod you have to 
Sylvie, you sent me. Did you send me? You sent me an email about this, right, Sylvie? I need to go back and look at that email. I completely forgot what all we had talked about. It. I think this is a. I, I feel like this one. This is probably my favorite course of the first year. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not my favorite, but like for the second tier of it. It's a good simple play. Who's gonna be one? God. What? I hope they fix that next Mario Kart. It's like where I didn't seemingly come out of nowhere on it. You'll be nice, dedicated servers. I can't, but Zero Ninety Nine has dedicated servers. I can't Mario Kart. There's no one best selling it all time. Oh yes, that was amazing timing. The bullet bit first. I'll take. Oh, wow. I'll still take third. Ice Timer Kirby says, Hi, Andre. Interesting fact. Ice Timer's 40th anniversary uh, falls exactly two weeks after the launch of Donkey Country Returns HD. How convenient. Nintendo Switch first party titles launch on a Thursday now. Yeah, that is interesting. Wow, 40 years. Good God. Um, where's our sequel? Where's our Ice Climbers sequel? We have not... I don't think there's been a new, new Ice Climbers installment since the Game Boy. I believe. Right? Wasn't there one on the Game Boy? Like, even Nintendo Land didn't get an Ice Climbers thing. Smash Brothers is the most Ice Climber anything we've had before or since. <laughs> before there was an Ice Climber. Let's see, Ice Climber. Okay. okay, there's an arcade version. Yeah, versus Ice Climber. Maybe we was there not, maybe there wasn't a Game Boy version. Oh here we go. Wait, no. Like it's Yeah, no man. Ice Climber is such a neglected franchise by Nintendo. So sad. Yeah, Kid Icarus had the Game Boy one. That's probably what I was thinking of. First off, nothing, I don't take away anything from that game. That's awesome. But I feel like Nintendo should have done... Nintendo should have been the ones to do that. They should have been the ones to make... Like, that's perfect for Ice Climbers. That was such a good idea. Make it a cooperative-based game. We're working together. We might be a, a bungee or rope like we are in Smash Brothers already whenever they use their recovery. It made so much sense. But I'm glad Red and Bread could be the spiritual successor to Ice Climbers. 
Yeah, exactly, uh, Eric. Before Silas from came back in. I guess we need Sakurai. Like, we need Sakurai. He, can, he brought back Kid Icarus. He can bring back, uh, I've come with back. His talents are with him, Smash Brothers. <laughs> we need our kid, we need our uh, I've Climber reboot. He says ice climbers, but 2D it takes two. Yeah, exactly. Was my game audio a little loud? Oh my god, it wait, hold on, let me look here. Is it really loud? The game audio? Looks like it's about I'm surprised. We gotta turn it down by five. Is that better? We got first time chat from Wide Aiden who says thanks for the mushroom. Did I drop a mushroom and give it to you or something? <laughs> well, good thing you hear Wide Aiden. You're welcome. Nice and sound. What, what's quiet? Okay, I'm a little confused. Am I, do I, maybe my, you know, maybe my microphone's too, hold on. That probably got messed up. I, oh, that's what happened. Oh my goodness. Okay, chat, is that better? But freaking, I don't, I hate, I hate Windows. I hate Windows so freaking much. It keeps screwing up my microphone sound settings. I don't understand it. Just, I wish I could stop it from doing that. Just stop changing it. It's not that freaking hard, Windows. Just stop screwing things up. I don't understand it. I'm so annoyed and upset right now by this. It is so frustrating. Just stop screwing with things. God. Thanks for letting me know. I would have, sorry I didn't change it earlier, chat. It's so annoying. It's just like a Windows setting. Why is it even a setting? Let the programs handle it. Just run it wherever volume you need to for the best quality and let the program handle it individually. Don't adjust it universally. I'm so heated. I'm so upset now. Came in race. Okay, thanks, Eric. Glad to hear that. Yeah, OBS forgets my microphone for a reason. Windows changes my sound settings. It's so annoying. I, I hate technology. It's really a shame my entire existence depends on it. <laughs> Maybe I had an update then, Citar, no, without realizing it. Not that that excuses it. Why did I fly there? Come on, before we get- WHAT?! I lost my bullet- Oh my god. That's infuriating. Oh, I didn't mean to use a second star right then. I guess that star won't matter. Hey, every wait, everyone has a star, does anyone have a star? I can't believe I'm a freaking star I gave out! As I was, oh my god! It's okay, it's Utah now. Ice Climber Kirby says, Bread and Fred and Song of Nauru, a League of Legends story. There was also a lot of mountain themed board games at this game store in 2019 2020. Oh, well, there's also, uh, what was it? Celeste, which is a mountain themed. A 2 DK course, so look at that. Oh man, I like DK Mountain more, but I'm better at DK Jungle. Yeah, I know, Knights, isn't that interesting? Your bad towards the GameCube one. Me too, Knights, for everything. Everything Double Dash is superior. 
Uh, Demar also asks, Andre, what do you think about that Prince of Zelda game? I don't like that Link's Awakening style. So, I don't know. I mean, I love the idea of it more than I like what I've seen of it so far, if that makes sense. I love playing a Zelda. I like the idea of uh, being able to copy anything and paste it. <laughs> yeah, control C and V. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm weird. I, I never, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Link's Awakening art style either. But at least it kind of made sense in that game because it's a dream world, right? And so it kind of made sense for it to be weird because the opening and ending cutscenes weren't even the same style. But now we have a game explicitly in that style that, as far as we know, is not a dream. Or any other reason for it to look like a toy world. And yeah, that, for whatever reason, that kind of, that kind of bugs me. I'll get past it. I'll still play it. But, yeah, I need, I need to actually play that game. But I am, I do like the gameplay hook, the gameplay mechanic, I think. It has potential, even if, like, half the trailer was just, you know, stacking things on top of each other. Which is not the most interesting use for that power. As I hope it isn't. We did see some more compelling uses in the trailer. So I'm intrigued, but I need to see more. Usually the second trailers for games from Nintendo do a much better job of selling me on them, so... Do you know what I mean? Me actually being good, good at this course? Oh, come, come on, boo, you freaking jerk. Oh, come on! Oh, this goes in the, in the air. It slows you down less than one on the ground. QT Rose, back away! We know what's good for you. Keep your distance. <laughs> yeah, I get my bomb back. Whoa, hey, a uh, QT Rose! Keep her distance the other way, not in front of me. Oh, that was so close. No, I'm screwing up now. Okay, hey, that's fine. What? Wait, did they fall? What, what, what happened to them? Did they use a, what? How come that didn't do anything? Did they have a super horn or a mushroom? Come on, Red Shells, you're my last hope. Take out QT Rose. Yes, yes, no! <laughs> Oh my god! Why? Who, oh, whoever fired the lightning, you are on my poop list. You are on my poop list, whoever did that. God, that is the worst time lightning of all time. Stop laughing, Eric. It's not funny. Of course I'll stream Mario Party Jamboree. Fun. We're moving on from the current Mario Party as soon as that game's out. I used a mushroom in Star Rose. How dare you? I had a feeling. Yeah, also, that, that last thing a blue shell was a surprise to turn, though, especially because we already had a blue shell earlier, too. Not that much earlier. A lap earlier, I think, even. Oh, that was you, White Aiden, with the blue shell? I do not like that. <laughs> I did not like that at all. Armino says, Nintendo talking about scalpers, but wants to sell, wants to be selling Luigi's Mansion 2 at 60. Still gonna buy it, though, even though I agree with Joey's video on the matter. <laughs> That's the problem. You're the problem. Everyone's gonna buy it at 60. That's why Nintendo can get away with it. You're a Rainbow Road spectating, C. Darno. Oh, we're in Sunset Wilds where there's no actual setting sun, which is very sad. I don't, I don't know why they brought that, why they brought back this course. It could have been a good course, but if you can't bring back a key feature of it, why? There's so many other tracks it could have done. Yeah, that's true. It's not, it's not animated Sunset Star no. There's no night. I agree. Yeah, Demaros, I agree. It really does feel like they took the two board, the two boards, the two retro boards in Jamboree, really feel like they should have been or may have been meant as DLC for Superstars. Or should have been in Superstars to begin with. Especially because if you subtract those two boards, then the core amount of board count is the same as Superstars. It's so weird. I don't know what they're doing, but... 
I'm excited for Jamboree all the same, but it annoys me how they mistreated superstars. That game needed DLC more than almost any other game. I hope you get you into a proper room soon, Knights. Oh, EDH Peace is here. Or Pice. I go through those every time. If you haven't already joined our tournament, what's wrong with you? You can play with us right now using the idea code at the bottom of the screen, 2974-2313-6299. Just type that in in the online tournament section. See, Tarnos has combined superstars and Jamboree, 12 boards, LOL. Could you imagine if they did that? Like, so Sonic and Knuckles, that would be amazing. That would be actually, that would be so freaking cool if you could actually just combine, like, bring the content of the first game into that one. They should do that. Ninja, yeah, that's a good one, Andrew. Ninja's been a kind of a neglect neglected character, so it's neat that they're finally playable. Okay, I'm actually also good at Mario Circuit, so I'll go with that. <laughs> when we're playing Splatoon 4, Fawn? When Splatoon 4 is out. <laughs> I know you meant 3. I'm not sure when. Ninstar Rose says, Super Mario Party Jamboree is such a mouthful to say. Also, Super Mario Party SM SMPJ sounds meh. Yeah, Jamber. That's three syllables, right? So you have Super Mario Party. Wait, Mari is Mari. Oh, is Mario three syllables? So let's see. Super two Mario three Party three part. No, two. Sorry. So three, four, five, six, seven, ten. That's ten syllables for the whole thing. You like the name Bubba Joey? But I guess Superstar. Superstar. Is it the same same syllables too? It should have been Mar Mario Party Hootenanny. Hootenan Mario Party Hootenanny. That's what we can do in Western Land. Oh, I screwed up the start. Oh, God. What happened? What makes Jamboree a bigger party than the other Mario parties? Are there more characters? Oh, come on! Cool. What? Oh. How far behind am I? Oh my god, Luigi's way ahead. Good thing that blue shot right there. Although it may not be enough. It wasn't. Actually, I'm not even sure if it hit them. Did they dodge it too? Oh, Brando says, imagine a Kirby board game like Mario Party. I don't know how it would be different, but I like the idea. <laughs> Maybe Kirby could be a... A crossover character. They have not done any crossovers in Mario Party, which is surprising. That seems like that'd be a really uh, good well to go to. Wait, is it not just? Wait, is it? Oh, it's Super Mario Party Jamboree. That's why it sounds like a mouthful. mouthful. I agree. I agree. In Star Rose, it should be just Mario Party Jamboree. Yeah, that would that would been better. I didn't think about that. So Mario Party Superstars. Yeah, Mario Party Jamboree. I mean, everyone will just call it that anyway, though. So it doesn't really matter too much what Nintendo calls it. It's like Mario Maker. Does anyone really call it Super Mario Maker? I mean, I'm sure some people do, but... That was so annoying during the first E3. No, second E3, I think. But those are two E3s, right? Yeah, it must have been. At the second E3, we had an interview with uh, Tezu Tezuka, who was a... Uh, was he director on it? And they had just changed the name to Super Mario Maker. And that was so hard to remember after a year calling him Mario Maker. 
I kept screwing it up. <laughs> Mario. See, Tarno, you're right. That would be fewer syllables. Mario. Mario Party. Mario. Dare drop that? I don't know if it matters or not. That's cool. Oh my goodness. I have a beep for that one. Uh, you go right behind me? I need a courtesy of a beep. I guess that's still coming for me, probably. Oh, well, not anymore. Pull us out. Oh, come on. No, let me get second. Stay back, baby Daisy. No! Oh my god. I'm going to go on a baby Daisy killing spree. <laughs> Don't think that. That sounds horrible. <laughs> was it? Yeah, it was baby Daisy. They're all they're all gone. Demoral says, uh, superstars lack that spice toxicity that older Mario parties had. I hope Jamboree improves upon that. It's true. If you go back to the older Mario parties, they're way more brutal than, than superstars. Superstars is, superstars is too lenient. Too many coins. The coin economy was just way too generous. Wait, it was a CPU, Ninstar Rose? Are you kidding me? That's even more offensive. Well, we, <laughs> baby Parky want to go on that murdering spree. Oh, let's go to Shroom Ridge, potentially. Can't believe it lost to a freaking CPU. Eric says, what was that game in the first Mario Party that ruined the, the incentive for Joystick and injured hands? There was multiple of them. There was the Tug of War one. There was the River Raid or whatever, the River one. There was the Shy... No, that was... Two, I think. The Shy Guy Wind Up one. There was, a, there was I'm trying to remember what else. There was a. Uh, what other mini games where you spun the control stick? Oh, the freaking grabber hand one where you throw. You throw, you know, in the river and you grab stuff. <laughs> the fishing one. <laughs> Who chose this? We got first time chat from Nichu, Nichu up, I think. I'm, I'm sure I mispronounced that. It says the boot chase, right? Oh yeah, the boot chase on the bike, right? Yeah, we light the light bulb. Is that it? <clears throat> yeah, there's another one. Good memory. I think there still might be another one or two in there. That looks like elements is being controlled. Right? Yeah, I, that's that's not the kind of brutal gameplay I want back. That can stay away forever, even though they brought back in Superstars for some baffling reason. But, um... I do like the, uh... more hardcore board action. Oh, don't fall! Mario cows are adorable. That's why Mimu Meadows is so good. Partially why Mimu Meadows is so good. 
Although I guess the Harvest Moon Cows look pretty similar too, don't they? Oh, that's not, was that not a solid object? What? God, the freaking mushrooms are out of control! Everyone's avoiding them today! I think it was a mushroom. Oh my god, that one item really hurt. Or that uh, falling off on that really hurt. Oh, what?! Was it activated in mid-air? I'm doing so- Oh my god! Oh, there we go. Goodbye, world. Yeah, just, just pass me to you. Why not at this point? Yeah, there we go. <sighs> oh, I actually pronounced it correct. Oh, thank you, uh, Nichope. <laughs> now, now I'm probably mispronouncing it. <laughs> that was a very rough race, Knights. Uh, Demuro says, I mean, the only toxic item you could buy in every shop in, in Superstars is Cursed Dice. Compare that to all the toxic items you could buy in Mario Party 3. So two things about that. Two things. One, even the Cursed Dice sucked. Because you could instantly knit, you could easily mitigate it as the player by using any other power-up, which is the dumbest thing in the world. If you use a triple dice, it should give you triple Cursed Dice, for instance. I don't know how they botched that. Other than, secondly, yes, Mario Party 3 had some amazing items. I loved how many, how many were, period, and how, and how diverse they were. Uh, first time chat from, uh, E.M. E.M. Yor? E.M. Yor? E.M. Jor? Hello, right back at you. Good good to have you here. Sorry for butchering your name, as I'm sure I just did. Bubba Joey, I'll, I always go with Mario Party and Mario Party. Mario, sorry, Mario and Mario Party. I can't be anyone else. It happened once on stream and I did terribly. So I kept forgetting who I was. I played Mario for, what, almost 30 years in Mario Party? 25 years? Gosh darn boomerangs! Oh, then you landed on them. The shell going back and forth reminds me of Super Nintendo World. <laughs> on the sign. Anyone else hyped for uh, Epic Universe, Universal's third park in Orlando, Florida, where Super Nintendo will be opening there? That's pretty cool. Ow. Oh my God. What am I doing? I almost high five that shy guy. Yo, that should be a mechanic. It should be a high five for uh, spectators. You can be like a stunt system. But better. <laughs> I'm doing good. Uh I am Jor. How are you doing? I mean, I'm doing good. Besides losing a Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, is that White Aiden in front of us? From the chat?
Yeah, that's right, Ice Climber Kirby. There is a whole How to Dra How to Train Your Dragon section. In fact, it's the biggest area of the park. It's like 16 acres, which I think is even bigger than... That might actually even be bigger than Cars Land at California Adventure, which is already huge. You're doing good too, I am sure. Good, glad to hear that. We have a first-time chat from Dylan, which I'm pretty sure... Is that true? I feel like I've seen Dylan before. It says, hello, I am... D oh, hello, I am Door in Gamer. I think in the game they mean. Hello, I am D Dower Doer. Good seeing you here. So maybe that is a first time chat. Well, good seeing you here. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for racing with us. I think you. Uh, I think you've been beating me in the few races, right? In game, yeah. Nice says I can't wait to go back to Universal 2026. Why 2026? Is that just when you're planning your next trip for? Uh, Brando asks, hey, Andre, do you watch TPM vids? If not, you should check it out. Is that... Oh, theme... What's the, I, I've heard of the acronyms. I must have. Oh, what, I forget what it stands for. TPM. Theme Park. You know... Let's see. You know, actually, I don't think I... Ha I No, I've de I definitely have seen a few of their videos. I recognize that voice instantly. So I don't watch them too often, but I definitely catch them every now and then. Chris can be a menace out there, Luigi Yoshi. I feel your pain. Now we got Iggy in our race. Uh, Nichope says, I heard the meta change from before cart builds. Can anyone verify that? Did it change recently, chat? I don't think it... I don't think it's changed super recently. It might have been in the last DLC pack, but that was a while ago, wasn't it? But maybe I'm wrong. Chat will know better than I will. Demarles is asking, are you going to do a review on Luigi's Mansion 2? Probably uh, HD. Probably not that I did one before for the 3DS and my feelings are the exact same except it looks a little sharper now. Um, if I do any kind of video, it will be less of a review and more of a feature, I think. But uh, to be honest, I don't know if I will or not. But I, I don't have to beat it again. I'm on, I'm on level 2 and I still don't like that game. <laughs> it's just very boring to me. I, I feel like that water... Uh, that is... The water visually is confusing. It looks like you should not be able to go into a beach. Holy game. It's going to be like a, a bad area. Uh, Ice Climber Kirby. Yeah, that's John. He's actually one of my friends. Um, and he's done, he's done a few uh, videos and streams for us. He's mostly done community streams in the Discord. And wanted to do, do one on Twitch instead. So I figured, yeah, why not? Go for it, let's get a scraper. But some, some of the videos he's done for us include like reviews of the Ninja Turtle games, like um, Shredder's Revenge, I believe, and uh, then a couple others. I can't quite remember. So he's been with us for, for a couple of years in some capacity. He, just, he doesn't appear in videos too often. Thanks for linking to my uh, 3DS review for the Dimension Dark Moon. To be fair, I've not fully watched that, I've not watched that review at all recently, but I assume I stand by everything I said in it. Oh, I'm in first? How am I in first? Oh, yes! That's pretty good. Knights, congrats. Fourth on SNES Rainbow Road. Oh my god, now we can get first again? An authentic first? Yay! Finally! Uh, why? And he asked, Hey Andre, what are your thoughts on Mario and Luigi Brothership? I'll be fully honest, and I actually wasn't, I, I mean, I'm always honest, but uh, I was honest in our discussion recently about it, but um, I almost totally burned out Mario and Luigi. I just stopped caring about that series. Uh, there was too many of them, they all played too similarly, and it burned out. This new one looks really good. I'm definitely interested in it, so um, I think it looks, yeah, I think it's the most interesting Mario and Luigi has looked in 15 years. But honestly, probably since the first one, actually. So, so yeah, it looks good. 
I, I am curious to play it. That's great, Vaughn. Brandon says, every time I see the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland, I think of Luigi's Mansion. You know, I feel like... I don't know if I ever read this anywhere, or if I just assume, but there's no way anyone could convince me that, Ninten that Nintendo is not inspired by a Haunted Mansion. But they have one in Japan as well, Tokyo Disneyland, and there's no way they weren't inspired by it. Um, so, I don't know if there's like any direct references to it, per se, but the overall theme feels evocative of it. Mm. The floating candle! There's a floating candle in the game, and there is in the ride, too. I didn't think about that. That totally is a reference. Like a, like a floating, invisible thing holding the candle. Which you do see eventually, but in the game. Well, wow, also... Alright, nice. Some of these remakes of like the SNES slash GBA tracks are so different, they don't even feel like the original. <laughs> oh god. I hate that. It just you can't do anything. It's like a double hit. Oh come on! Okay, that was my bad. Can't blame anyone but myself for that. Enough. It's not enough. I think that's the lava. Who went to the lava at the last second? It's all good, Iggy. You go you earn those snipes. Oh man, you're you're killing it, Iggy! Got beat by another freaking baby! Tired of this. Tired of these babies. You know what the worst part of the Mario movie was? The baby scene. I'm kidding, I actually thought that was a cute scene. I got all three of those, I'm not a fan of. Oh, the thwomp threw out the side smiley? Oh, that sucks! I'm sorry, I was wondering what happened there! Look like you went flying off for no reason. See, Charles asking favorite tour CD track? Oh man, I don't know. I feel like I've been excited in the past for a couple of them, then I, I, you know, a few weeks go by and I just don't care about any of them anymore. Um, what's the one with the Thwomps? Berlin? What's the, yeah, I think, or like the one with the Berlin Wall? Yeah, Berlin Byways is what it's called. I like that one. I think, yeah, people in our in our tournaments are insane, Smiley, so they're all really good at this game. Oh, no, Fawn. Oh, you have a uh, Switch cartridge holder coming, Ice Climber Kirby? Hope we get that soon. I'm so happy they brought back the uh, Patooies for this stage. 
I love whenever we get like a classic Mario enemy back that I haven't seen that hasn't been seen in a while. Pretty far ahead. What's going on? Be a blue shell coming away. Cool. Thanks, Boo. Sucks. Forever stole banana though. No one wants a banana. Except for me. Except for first. Ah! Oh, broke my power slide. No! Joey! Get back here. Oh god, why am I falling apart at the very last second? Ah! Gosh! Who was that? Iggy. Joey and Iggy. Man, a potent duo. Uh, Demuro said, Then you bring back the Koopa Bros. Those are my favorite Mario enemies, partially due to Super Mario Bros. Z. Have you watched that? I, I don't think I have. Uh, Koopa, are those Koopa Bros? Are those the uh, Paper Mario enemy? The first like major boss of Paper Mario? Uh, Fawn, so actually my niece is coming to town for the 4th of July and for a week after, so we'll probably be doing things with her. Um, try, yeah, I don't think we have any, any uh, specific plans yet, but uh, maybe we'll watch a movie or something. Independence Day. Smiley asks, what's your favorite announcement from the Direct? Oh, we answered that in our discussion. I'm trying to remember what I said. I, the one I'm most excited for is literally probably Mario Party Jamboree. Um, just because I'm a huge Mario Party fan, this one looks good, and they're on the right track with the series. Um, in in concept, it should be Metro Prime 4, but I thought I honestly didn't think the trailer was that good. Um, it, it's a good looking game, but it showed me nothing to get me really excited. Like The trailer was like, hey, this game's not dead, here's proof. Stay tuned for when, you know, we show more of it. So that, I'm waiting for the next trailer for that game. I need to see more of Metro Prime 4. Because honestly, that trailer, it, it just looks like Metro Prime. Which is what some people want, and that's great. I'm happy for that. But for me, I want to be like, okay, what are you doing different this time? And they showed nothing like that. Uh, Brotherhood's up there too. So Brotherhood and Jamboree are my two faves right now. Zelda, I need to see more of as well. I mentioned that earlier. I'm excited by the concept, but... Not fully sure I was going to come together. Oh, come on, Boo! I wish he had like a second in notification. Well, I guess if he had a notification, he would just use your item. So. I, I see it. I, I get it. How about they just drop Boo? Does anyone actually even like Boo? I, I mean, not the character. The character's great. Love Boo. But as an item, it just it's just annoying. Like if I were the person who got Boo, I'd rather just get a different item, right? Like skip the middleman. Boo's just an annoying middleman. That's all Boo is. It's like a sleazy car salesman. Oh God. Yeah, Demaro said, Devil should be a bomb for item. I agree with that too. Because, yeah, then you're punishing, you give them a banana? Cool. Good job, Boo. Great. What a good use. Oh, God. Oh, 
No! I feel like Red Shell should be a higher placed item. I don't think a whole lot of sense to have him so low in the ranks, I think. I think the biggest problem Mario Kart needs to address is just a complete chaos of being in the middle of the pack. I don't know how you fix that, though. Good job, Smiley. First place. I am sure. Oh no, what happened? Uh, Demaro says, speaking of Jamboree, I like that they brought back the non-item special moves alongside the item ones. Uh, I actually don't even know what you mean. <laughs> I'm sure I would if I looked at the trailer again. That's the bit we love the chaos. Not when you're in the chaos! Being in the chaos is insane. Oh man, am I down to the final eight races already? All right. I'm not seeing anything on Infinity Nikki. I've come to Kirby. Maybe chat has. Hmm. It's hot here too, Vaughn. Definitely hot. Bubba Joey says, you live in Seattle, right, Andre? How do you like it? So I did up until almost exactly a month ago. Um, and I actually very much like Seattle. I like the temp, the temperature, the weather, the the overall vibes there, um, the people. Not so much the food. The food's kind of mid in Seattle, to be honest. But I like I like Seattle a lot. But I'm down in Texas now, and it's way hotter here, as I was just saying. So it's a little a little too hot. But I do like it in the evenings, like morning and evening, because you can just stay outside, and that's I love that element. But midday, it is brutal. Oh, the Superstar Saga type moves. Wait, are you talking... Wait, sorry, are you talking... Wait. I'm confused. Wait, in Jamboree? Wait, no. Oh, wait. No, no, no. You're someone else. Wait, yeah, no. You, what? I'm confused. There's, there's, there's Brotherhood-like moves in... Jamboree? A brothership. I keep calling it brotherhood. Brothership. I can't commit that to memory for some reason. Oh, you didn't mean to say jamboree. That's why I was so confused. Yeah, I think they look cool. I, uh, I think they look neat. The animations are amazing. Yeah, AC is essential down here, Eric. As Tommy Kirby says, I really, I actually wanted to live in Seattle when I was a kid. It seems so. It seems as if I have my favorite climate according to the world outlets we had. It's very nice. Like, I mean, it does get a little chilly in the winter, of course. Um, not as cold as the East Coast, though. It's doable. It doesn't snow all the often there. Um, but the summers are gorgeous. Like, amazing summers. And the spring or fall are, you know, I mean, doable. They're a little rainy, but pretty. And yes, it is expensive, too, Eric. Ah, random. <laughs> it's all good tomorrow's. <laughs> it really confused me. I'm like, what is this guy talking about? <laughs> Jamboree is the brothership, lol. Oh, well, looks like a pretty even split. Actually, no, that's a lie. That was a complete lie. It's mostly uh, Christmas. Land Bell off randoms, too, so. Oh, hey, a GameCube Ice version. Are you visit Texas for the eclipse, uh, Sea Tarno? That's awesome. If only I'd been down here when that happened. We could barely see in Seattle. I couldn't see at all in Seattle. Not only do we, it was like a 20% eclipse for us, maybe even less. It was cloudy that day, so. I can play in this game. Right. Who's this riff raff? Get this riff raff out of here. Especially being in first place.
Oh, I'm going in the drink. It's so weird they can kind of you can alternate items almost double dash style with only the boomerang. It's so strange how they handle that. Oh, I got a couple people with that. Nice. The one that was spawned. Sorry, Bond. Gosh! Oh, I thought they were fun. Oh, they got ahead of me. Dude, that's not fun. I guess we're not going for a flight. Oh, not in again! I never do this! What am I doing? What's wrong with me today? This route did not exist on the GameCube. Whoa. Oh, gosh. Ah! Uh, fifth is not the worst to get in now. Yeah, that's a good point, Game Gainsy. It's been so long since Mario Kart, since this Mario Kart, two gen two generations old, that for as good as it looks, the next one will look even better. Hopefully. And you flew over Seattle on your way back to Vancouver to stop over from LA to Sydney because Air Canada. We spent seven hours in the city and loved it. Oh, sorry, in, wait, where did you spend seven hours in the city? In Seattle? Or no, in Vancouver? I'm a little confused. But both, both are nice cities. Vancouver is actually very nice. Trying to get coconut mauled, maybe. I think so, Fawn. See, Charles, says that someone used to live in Australia. The weather in Texas is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I've never been to Australia. I've wanted to go one of these days, but then everything I hear about it is like, yeah, maybe not. You know, terrible weather, insane giant insects, kangaroos that will kick your ass if you look at them wrong. <laughs> Gaming Games East says the fact that the mall board in Mario Party Jamper is not called Coconut Mall makes it super confusing. Oh, I didn't think about that. It really should be Coconut Mall. That would be such a fun party setting. I don't know why Mario Party is so afraid of, like, landing into existing locations. I mean, yeah, we be, because Mario Kart has never really inspired any, like, any other franchises, has it? I mean, you know, like, in, in the Mario sense. Like, you can't, you can't go to the water park in a Mario game. That'd be cool. They, they should do that for Mario Party. That'd be fun. Have they had, like, a shared universe, almost? Like, why can't we drive around Western Land? Um, and now, now I'm annoyed. Like, why has this not become a thing? Like, it, it looked like a pretty generic mall in in, Mar in Jamboree, didn't it? The Coconut Mall does have two levels, too, just like the mall in, that, in Mario Party. So. God. Yay, saving bullet. Oh, saving from a lightning too. Oh, that was 
amazing. Probably gonna be enough to get to catch with the first though. It's so far ahead. Oh, actually, never mind. That was perfect. Oh, God. oh, they screwed up the super. Wait, I'm so confused. Did they screw the super horn and get hit by it, and it still hit me too? What on earth even happened there? I'm ah. Oh, I'm back in second. All right. Okay, that actually mostly worked out. You spent so many hours in Vancouver on your way to Sydney. Got it. Okay. Ooh, another GameCube course. Yes. Actually, you know what? I did forget. This actually was basically inspired by Paper Mario. Dry Dry Desert went by the same name. Had Tornadoes 2 that looks similar. That's very rare you see that. This might be a video. It might be, yeah, that'd be interesting. Another thing only Double Dash really did. Go figure. Double Dash, best Mario Kart for so many reasons. Uh, I have a ticket to ride uh, at Summer Kirby. I actually have it. I haven't played it in a long time ago. Bobby Joey says that they actually thought it was Coconut Mall board until they called it Rainbow Galleria. They should have been. They should have called it that. Or, uh, Coconut Mall. There's still two people on the Nintendo Network tomorrow. Such amazing. Gaming Games says, I find it funny how people are so traumatized from the car mechanic from the Wii slash Wii U era that when they saw the cars and one of the boards in Jamboree trailer, they already got triggered, lol. Did you see my reaction to it? I had the exact same reaction. <laughs> oh, your first ever Mario Kart was Double Dash Y8 in? What a way to start! I had to work my way up to it. We can hold on to first and a double dash track. One that I know like the back of my hand. Oh thank goodness. Oh no! Come on! Oh wow. <laughs> I think that's squid. Sorry, Joey. Not that sorry, but I'm a little sorry. He's having to be in my, in my way. Gosh! Hit the double? Are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. Jim and Z says they need to bring, they need to finally bring back Double Dash Mechanic, at least as a side mode, hopefully next Mario Kart. A thousand percent. They really need to change up the next Mario Kart a lot. But I'll be happy if it's just that, even. Oh no, Dale Murph, sorry to hear that. Well, thanks for playing. I've never been to Yosemite, Ice Climber Kirby. I hope you have a good time there. Why can't you bring them? Are you, is it your, uh, just like an enforcement from your family? It's probably smart to actually enjoy being in nature. Even though I hear you, I would have been annoyed too. 
I used to bring my Game Boy everywhere. But I like to give the impression <laughs> of caring. <laughs> Eric. Hey, G Dash. How are you? Are you having a good day today? Good seeing you here. Oh, it is Canada Day. You're right, an answer, man. We should go in Vancouver. I know Tom's out today because of a, a Canada Day, so. Uh, we might be able to do that song, Joe. Although, that, I don't know if people would be interested in that too much. Wait, who suggested a better name for... Oh, wait, wait, we are in Vancouver, aren't we? Yeah, this is Vancouver. So we made it. Awesome. Perfect for Canada Day. Oh, it was kind of lame to call it Vancouver Park. But I don't think that's actually a thing. Maybe it is. But there's Stanley Park, which is famous in Vancouver. Like a huge park. There's no suspension bridge there, as far as I know. But there are suspension bridges in Vancouver. I've been across, uh... One of the really scary ones. Oh. I hope we get Smash 64 soon too, but we're all started. Can you imagine that game didn't actually end up being Smash Brothers as it wasn't intended to be? It was going to be its own IP without any recognizable characters. God, it would have been... Maybe it would have been amazing, who knows. But we would not have Smash Brothers to this day. Which is now like a core Nintendo IP. I think Mario Kart's are the same way, actually. That's true, Gaming Game Z. Yeah, you're right. I do remember that. It seems crazy now to think Smash used to have only Nintendo characters, but now it's like a huge celebration. All right, we're entering the final four races, everyone. The final four. Can you believe it? I was just doing a thon. Donate it. Donate. Wait, Donathon. Not a donation thon. My day's going good, uh, G-Dash. Thank you for asking. How couldn't it be when playing with all of you fine folk? Even if I get my butt kicked at times. Most of the time. Sort of double dash would be a different story. I'm liking a fawn. Oh, we have uh, only four people in this room. Hopefully I'll fill up after this race completes. Which we have a lap to sit through. Your 14th race, uh, I, or why they didn't? You should have time to finish them all, I think. Yeah, you should be able to before the tournament officially closes. Might be a little close, but. I tried Frosty Banjo. I am down in Texas now. As of a month ago. Almost a month ago. Bubba Joey, I loved Inside Out 2. I did not think I would. 
Because I, I'm not a huge fan of the first one. Um, I thought it was fine. Overrated. Two, though, I thought it was great. I, two almost feels like... I mean, in some respects, it is very... It is like one. But I almost feel like it's like... Let's, let's retry it. Let's, let's take the idea and redo it. And do it better. And that's what two feels like. I thought it was funnier. For me, it hit more emotionally. I like all the new emotions. Like, it's amazing that they managed to give every emotion screen time and how many there are now. Yeah, I agree, Gaming Gen Z. It is too bad. Crash is like one of the last few big one, big holdouts, I think. Like, of the classic era. Classic 3D era. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot needs to come to Smash at some time. Oh, was I spectating you see Tarot? No, nice. Inside out too, that's right, Super Aiden. Good seeing you. Demarle says, why are there eight negative emotions but only one positive one? LOL. I, I mean, I guess it depends. I mean, isn't the whole point is that there's like none of them are inherently positive or negative, but I guess joy on the surface is like the only, like, the one that you really want to feel all the time, right? You don't want to be scared. You don't want to be grossed out. You don't want to be anxious. You don't want to be mad. Maybe some people do. Yeah, I never thought about that. Like, Joy is the one, the only one you want, you'd want to be all the time, really. Although, again, the first movie, like, did show, like, you, you can't be happy all the time, or you have to embrace the sadness. You're playing DBD to try and finish up this. Oh, yeah, the event tome, right. Yeah, today's the last day. That's right, Super 8. Well, good luck. I never do the tomes. Am I missing out? Uh, I just find going into them annoying. The challenges like don't really interest me much. The event's been interesting. Like I like parts of it, but the killers are like insane on it. Like they're extremely insane. even by killer standards. But I've been having fun with it. Got a ton of points off it. Looking forward to uh, Laura Croft coming to Dead by Daylight, Dead by Daylight soon, too. I would love for there to be a Nintendo killer in Dead by Daylight. Could you imagine? I think really would be a good one. Oh, hit the wall, the corner. Oh, come on! Oh, hey. Oh, they got the boost start. Or boost post blue shell <laughs> start. Super horn. Ah! Oh! Yes. Oh, come on! I've had such bad luck with the lightning strikes. Now you hear that, Eric? I agree. Wow. What a loser of a blue shell. Ice Climber says they got a magic bullet blender to mix smoothies and shakes with. I'm going grocery shopping Saturday. That's a, I should look into that. I've been trying to eat healthier. I've been trying to eat a lot healthier recently, and I've been going to the gym. Um, so maybe I should look into making shake or uh, smoothies. All right, I think we're in the final three races, for me at least. Yeah, congrats, Knights, on that win.
Alright, 20 second. Hey, we get Animal Crossing. I always like this chorus. Only thing I wish is I wish the seasons corresponded with the real life season of, you know, the host, maybe, or someone. Maybe the, whoever it chooses randomly. I think that'd be kind of cool. Like, so it kind of represents their region, you know? Instead of just being completely random. And of course, we played offline in the really game that season. Never seen me as for you. I wish there was a de but there should be a time mechanic too. A, a, uh, a 24 hour mechanic. Like, I wish it reflected the actual time too. It's actually surprising they didn't do that. I think it's because, you know, I guess it's a lighting limitation of the engine maybe, which is why we need to get the sunset, the sunset signals. But they should have fixed it. Or it's made 24 versions, I don't care. It could have that. Easy. <laughs> All I'm asking for is 24 versions of all four seasons. Is that asking so much, really? I think it seems reasonable. And honestly, like, all the night hours are going to be the same anyway. So that, that lops off, what, an easy 8 to 12 hours? You really only need to worry about 12 to 16 variations for each season. We're talking a mere 48... To 64 versions. Like, that's nothing. Come on. Oh, no, Nistar Rose. Well, the tournament is winding down, but you should still be able to get into a race, hopefully, with someone. I was coming to Kirby's at Brawlhead, random day and night in Smashville. Oh, that's right. Was it random in that? Yeah, there's only two versions, wasn't there? Day and night. Honestly, I, I would actually be happy with that. Even though, yeah, if there's just like a day and night version, fine. I think that would have been cool. They should have had a day and night for each version of all four seasons. Why do the Mushrooms Mushroom Gorge have strokes on them? They have white outlines. Does any other course do that? Cheese Land has like a... Looks like a... Uh, oh, what's the lighting term for it? Like a uh, backlight almost, but... Mushroom... What? Does any... Mushroom Gorge is so weird. Alright, we're in our pen ultimate race. Good luck, everyone. I just realized you can see my Mario Kart 64 poster back there, which is perfect. Uh, yeah, we might raid them song, Joe. Are they, uh, are they, are they, uh, for everyone's stream or are they mature stream? Iggy. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Iggy. You just happened to be there. I just happened to be aiming for you. <laughs> hey, is that Iggy? What? Iggy, get back! What are you doing up here? Oh my god, how did that deny it and not hit me? No, you drafted off of me? And then you tried me with my with your own banana? What is this? Trying to get revenge on me? Well, look who's in first. 
Not you, Iggy. That's right. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Iggy passed me. Wait, did Iggy hit my banana? I don't think so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Too many stars. Oh! That, oh, no! Okay, thank goodness for iframes. Ah. Oh. Oh, we got so close. Yeah, probably Ice Climber Kirby. Uh, Eric, have there been, wait, have there been internet issues with, um, with, uh, the Trissa's Mario Kart stream still? Is that what you're talking about? Or... All right, fine. Oh, I'm best at Wario Stadium, so. It's all good fun. It's all fair in Mario Kart. Oh, there's one a couple weeks back. Yeah, I think, actually, I think Chris is still looking into their internet issues. Uh, Bubba Joey, I might host it if I can. It really, I don't want to commit if I'm going to be there or not. I mean, if anyone hosted it, it would be me. I'm just not 100% sure if I'll be doing it or not. All right, here uh, comes the final race. What are we gonna get for it? I guess Miley. All right, well, we have a full lobby too. Great. What a great way to end. Is this everyone's final race? Probably not. That will be very unlikely. Right back at you, I am Jor. Hope you had fun. We'll see, uh, or how did you do? Or are you done with your races? We got my, we got my racetrack, yes. They're taking my coins. They're being like Wario. On my way, Yoshi. Ha-ha! I warned ya! Well, thanks for the speed boost there. Yeah, thanks for the other one. Is that Iggy? Oh, it was Iggy! I could tell! With that annoying me head! Yes, I was hoping for that. That's what I was holding back in second. Oh, okay. I avoided it. That slow down. That was worth it, I think. Oh, why'd I do that? Difference of the coin. Oh, well, I'll rush on the process, so kill me. I get coins now. I can screw me! Freaking knew it! Whoa, whoa! Does he give a star? No, someone's below the star. Okay. Oh, okay, that's, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Iggy, what are you doing here? Ha <laughs> ha! Right, yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Just no more blue shells. <laughs> Cost me a super horn. It'll be worth it. I can pull this off. Come on, baby. I just need. Let's do this. Okay, that's. Decent. 
Don't pull me up. No, I only. Why does it happen sometimes? Why does it, it doesn't always consistently pull you up? It doesn't. No! Iggy, the last freaking second! Uh, no, it wasn't Iggy. It wasn't Iggy, it was Daisy. It was Daisy. Freaking Daisy! QT Rose! Out of nowhere. Well, at least Iggy got six. <laughs> I'm kidding, Iggy. Uh, that was a good race, everyone. Man, I was doing so good! See, I told you, I'm good at the course that I'm best at. I, I'm competitive in. It's everything else where I screw up. So. Man, whatever happened? Wait, I was confused. What was throwing me off? Oh, yeah. Why did bombs sometimes blow you up when you get hit by them when you're defending yourself with them, but not always? Does anyone know? Why does that ha It's inconsistent. Sometimes you're totally fine, but sometimes it blows you up. Oh, you made it to the 300 point mark for the first time, Iggy? Oh, my God. That's crazy. That's really done. All right, well, don't go anywhere, chat, but we're going to check the results. Doodle Dev, Super Dad, and G Dash fail. There's G Dash. Well, good, good luck to all three of you. Although only one of you can win. All right, let's go. Uh, sorry, not get spectate. Especially with that, with you being the first lap. Well, I think Iggy might be at the top of the charts right now. And then Star Rose says, "I'd be your speed or your turn, or it's a turn." Yeah, maybe. Oh. Bubba Joey says it won't blow it won't blow you up if it's directly behind you, but any other angle you blow up, LOL. Oh, really? Is that it? So you have to be straight. So you, I guess Nimstar Rose is right. I that never made that connection. That's so oh you're not first diggy. Alright, wow, I'm surprised. Actually, well, we have some really good racers, so maybe Nimstar Rose is up there. Could be uh the other person. Um there's a few other people it could be. But we saw one earlier. Pisces, whatever it is. Oh, Eze. Who's easy? All right, let's check out the list. Okay, I'm in, what, 11? Despite how terrible I did, okay. So we got Narflash, Christian, uh, Jordan, good, I think that's the one from the chat, good seeing you, Wrath, Wrath, Matt, and that's our MC, Smiley, Tyler, on, me at 11, just missed the top 10. We got Pikmin, that's it on Pikmin, and of course, race isn't over yet, that's a good change. Chris at eight, Luigi Yoshi tied at eight, Joey at seven, QT Rose at six, that's it done. EDH, that's who I was trying to think of, uh, at five. Zon man at four, Iggy at three. There's your 300. Oh, awesome, Iggy. Um, we got Bloody at two and the Eze at one. Wow, with 330. And they may not even be done yet. I don't even know. So that's impressive. Well, hey, great rest of everyone. It was awesome. I'm glad I could come back and play with you again, everyone. That was a ton of fun. So uh, thanks for hanging out with us. And we'll be back next Monday at the latest, if not on Wednesday for Mario Party. Not 100% sure on that here on, on Twitch. Um, or maybe, actually, we might do Luigi's Mansion this week if we come back on Wednesday. Hey, there's Eze in the chat. All right, yeah, great, great, great racing, Eze. Good job. Well, let's go get this raid ready here, everyone. So, we're going to raid this person who was uh, streaming, poke, doing Pokemon art, I think. They only have four people watching right now, so this will be a nice crew we can add to them. Even if for a little while. So, everyone, it's good seeing all of you again. We'll see you uh, again uh, soon. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And have a great re uh, 4th of July weekend. And we don't talk to you before then. All right, bye everyone, and let's go do that raid.